here's a video tutorial on how to draw like me. First, you draw this basic circle and guidelines. Make sure the this line is <laughs> below the circle. And then you draw this on both sides. And then you draw the cheeks, which are supposed to be the widest part of the head, not the eyes. And it should, and you draw the lines nice and soft to give it the more feminine style of my art style. And then you edit it to make it more evened out. All right. Then you draw the hair, which is, uh, I usually draw hair kind of like this, like bananas, but when I'm animating, I make it more simple and do like stuff like this. But this is paper, so we're gonna do the bananas. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> then, for my art style, I don't do specific eyes or anything. Um, I more of just do different eyes to avoid same face syndrome. So I'll draw a few examples of what I usually do. For my art style, I always drew, draw a slightly curved straight line like this. And it can be thick or thin, depending on how many, how thick the eyelashes you want to be. Then you draw this wing here and do that and then color it in. And then you draw a long circle or oval, whatever you want to call it, and fix it up to make it all match the rest of the line art. And then my favorite part is to add the little shiny part and then the pupil. And you color this in. And then I always draw these. So this is what a gender neutral eye would look like. The females wouldn't have these. Sometimes they would, um, depending on how, what the character looks like. And now on the males, I would do this because males have longer eyelashes than females do. All right, that is an eyeball in my art style. Now let's apply it to my other drawing right here. All right, eyeballs have been drawn. Next, I'm going to draw eyebrows. I draw eyebrows in three different ways. So this is for the characters that um, have a more childish um, act, personality, kind of say, and like more of the silly gremlin little creatures they are. And an example of that would look like this. The second eyebrows that I do is this. Sometimes I color them in, and sometimes I don't. You guys know what those look like, though. And then there's these eyebrows that other people do. So let's apply the eyebrows. Okay, uneven eyebrows, nice. Next up is noses. And I draw noses in a couple of different ways, too. I have different styles for faces for different things. So, like, if I wanted the character to have a more round-looking face, I would draw this. And then the second eye nose would be this on the more masculine characters. I draw that on my more masculine characters. Sometimes I draw this and other times I don't. And then the lastly is the classic anime nose is that. I don't use those as often because that's not really my art style. I don't use, I don't like using that nose either. That my, that nose is my this nose is my favorite. So let's apply it to my character. Okay, nose applied. And then for mouths, I usually just draw a little cat mouth like that. And then on all my characters, I always add this cute little blush thing right here on both sides. Sometimes I add it right here, but not always. That is um, a tutorial on how I draw heads. This is not the cleanest sketch because um, my more cleaner art is um, on animations and stuff. Okay, now we're gonna give this character a body. So step one would be 
to draw the baseline of the character like this. Don't make it too narrow here because then it wouldn't look very nice. It would just make it look like a, I don't know, a demon. Because <laughs> I don't want to make people insecure about themselves. And the next part is drawing the hips, which is about like this. I add this as an extra guideline sometimes. And I draw the line here to separate the legs. And the legs on my characters are usually thicker to add more volume. And then finally you draw the neck. Um, if you ever run into the part where it, you might have a too long of a neck, I just do this. All right, that is the guidelines for the body. And I don't usually draw boobs, so I'm not gonna draw boobs. And then I draw, always draw thick arms too, which I noticed was a thing in my art style. I didn't notice that until I started playing Sims and I was like, why are the arms so skinny on Sims characters? And um, for hands, they're usually just little nubs nubs. All right, it's on both sides now. And then for non-human characteristics, uh, sometimes on my angels, I would draw this cute little feather thing I draw here and stuff. But the thing I, that I also realize is, is, is a common thing in my art style is how I draw cat ears. I always draw them with this little nook thing in here. I kind of got that from Moon Kitty's uh, design for Squirrel Flight. And then I always draw that. Sometimes I draw this here and this, but yeah. Okay, now for tails. Uh, I draw them in two different ways. So this is the way for thinner tails, the ones with less fluff. This is how I draw tails with more fluff. I draw them with more volume at the tip and less volume at the, uh, whatever you want to call that part. And that is how I draw in my art style. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.